I am the door. Uh, John chapter 10, verse 9. We continue in this video uh, with the discussion on the sayings of Jesus that are recorded in the book of John. Uh, sometimes they are called the I am sayings. And uh, last time we talked about I am the light of the world. Welcome to this video on Sitam Church Online. My name is Jotham Munene, Senior Pastor at Sitam Gong. I am the door, said Jesus. Now imagine you are walking on a street in a certain city and there are shops everywhere and everyone is calling you to enter their shop and buy whatever it is that they have. But before you get in one of them, somebody tips you and tells you that most, and let's say they are selling electronics, they tell you most of them are selling fix. It is only one shop that is selling the, the, the original, the genuine product. Um, then you find out that once you enter a certain door, you can't come out to go to another shop. I think you would take the time to discover which is the right door. Because once you go through the wrong door, you have been deceived and you're going to end up with the wrong product and in the wrong place. Now, that is how the world is. We find that there are many doors in this world leading us sometimes astray. There are many religions, there are many philosophies, there are many schools of thought that promise heaven but deliver nothing. And you see them delivered through television, through the internet, through certain books, and they lead into uh, the wrong side. But if you are to get the right door as far as the knowledge of God is concerned and spiritual life is concerned, then you'll be assured that you are safe and that you are taken care of. When you enter through the door, and this door is a person called Jesus, why, you'll find a world of love. You'll find a world of acceptance. You'll find a world full of meaning. You'll receive healing, a peace of mind. As you enter, once you enter through this door, you will also find true friendships among the other sheep that Jesus is shepherd to. So it is important for you to get into the right door. Now some people say every door will lead you to the right direction, but there is only one door that can lead you to truth. Now this door is Jesus. So not only does he give you these things on earth, but as you continue inside this hall that you have entered through this door, it ends up in heaven. This is the only door that takes you to God the Father. I know very many people claim that they can give you eternal life. But at some point Jesus says, I am the only one who has been to heaven. Only the Son of Man has been to heaven, came down to earth, only he can really tell you the truth because he has been there. In fact, if somebody tells you that I have the answer to life, ask them, have you been there? But we know that Jesus, when he was born, it's not that that's when he began to exist. He existed in heaven with the Father, but he came here to reveal himself to us and went back to the Father. Therefore, he alone is the door to not only peace, and joy and you know uh, meaning but he is the door to eternal life if you're planning to live forever with God you better make sure that you're going through the right door and let me just talk to some of the church people that may be listening to me the door to eternal life is not baptism it's not having a new name it's not being confirmed is not having a church wedding, is not giving your money to the church. The door is a person, and that is Jesus. Now, it says in Romans 10 verse 9, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart 
that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is by believing in your heart that you are made right with God and it is by confessing with your mouth that you are saved. That is from the New uh, Living Translation. So would you like to enter through this door today? Would you like to have your name written in the book of life? Would you like to have assurance that after this life, you have a place in heaven to spend eternity with God? Why don't you pray this prayer with me? Say, Lord Jesus, I agree that I've been lost. I've gone through the wrong doors, but today I recognize you are the door that leads me to life. Forgive me every sin and come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. I receive you today by faith in Jesus' name. May God bless you. If you have a question, if you have a comment, please uh, get to us through the platforms below. And uh, again, my name is Jotham Munene, uh, Sitam Church Online. Thank you.